Hey guys, it's Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to reset your Asus gaming router in a couple easy steps. Stay tuned guys so I can show you how to do it. Hey guys, so here's the router itself, the ROG Raptor Tri-Band Gaming Router, model number GTA C5300. This method is actually good for mostly almost all ASUS uh, ROG routers and ASUS routers themselves. Um, so we're going to be looking at a couple of things here. We're going to be using two buttons, the power on and off button, and this button right here on the side, the WPS button. This is really good, uh, let's say if you don't know the password to the Wi-Fi, if you forgot it, um, you can always reset it this way without actually logging in to the GFI um, online. You can actually do it from here, uh, which is a lot easier. And the last thing we'll be looking at is the indicator lights right in the front. This will help us kind of show us that we actually hard reset this router with actually not logging into it. So let's go to jump into it. So let's go ahead and pull up the Wi-Fi addresses here. So this one's actually mine, Ghost57. Free Popsicles, Ghost57. All the Ghost57 ones are mine. Um, definitely the owner of this router was a jokester, as you can see by the names of the Wi-Fi access points. Um, but bad thing is I did not get the passwords from the seller on Facebook Marketplace, and they're not responding. So easy thing to do, of course, is just to reset that and look at that name free popsicles interesting person uh, <laughs> but I did get a good deal on this router so it's not too bad um, but none of these I can access so we're gonna go ahead and reset it without using any passwords or actually logging into the online access point so let's go ahead and do that now and these are the buttons you're gonna be using most important the WPS button we're gonna be holding that for 10 seconds along with turning on your router. So make sure your router is plugged in, of course, and make sure it is powered off. So there's the on button right back over here. I'm not gonna turn it on just yet, but I'm just showing you where it's at. And then next thing we're gonna look at is actually the LED indicators. This is actually what you're gonna be using to find out if this step actually worked for you. So we're gonna be looking at the uh, on button LED. So now we're going to go ahead and press the WPS button first, hold it down. And now we're going to turn on the router itself. So you're going to see the power light turn on, hold it for 10 seconds, both of them, and you'll see it turn off. So just like that, you just hard reset your gaming router. So next step is pretty much is just turn it back off and turn it back on again. And let's jump to the computer to see if it actually reset. It should go back to the factory settings, which are on the back of your router. Password and uh, names are gonna be on the back of your router, which is easy. So let's jump into the computer, guys. Okay, guys, just like that, the router is reset. So these are all the default names for your Wi-Fi access points. And keep in mind the password and names are on the back of your router. So just like that, you are up and ready to go using your internet access points. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, Ghost57 out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys, for now.